Hello and welcome to this video. If you don't know me, I'm Marta and today I will be doing a 3 looks 1 palette with the beautiful Electro Turquoise palette by Kaleidos Makeup. Uh, the look I'm wearing right now is the third look. Yeah, I did one look that was basically blue like this one and then I did one look with the orange and the brown which was way more neutral and very fall vibes -y. And uh, then I did one with a mix of both blue and orange. That was the first look. Uh, before I go into the looks, I will just uh, swatch the shades so you can see how they look. So I guess we will go straight into the swatching and then I will tell you a little bit about how I've felt the shades perform and then we'll go into the different looks. That is how the palette swatches. Uh, all of the shades are quite good. Uh, the only one that's a little bit patchy is this one. And that's actually the only shade that I had some trouble with while uh, using it. Not in the looks that I showed you, but uh, I did try to use this and do the second look another time as well. And I was really struggling with this. But it's really workable if you don't pack on too much shadow, just so you're aware of that. Let's just go straight into look number one. Okay, so for this first look, I really want to go in with uh, Wired, the darkest brown shade here in my crease. Then I want to do this shade, Digital, on uh, like as a transition on my outer corner in my crease. As a transition for the inner corner, I want to use the orange shade. And then I'm gonna blend out the dark blue with the this light turquoise uh, shade and I'm of course going to use both of the shimmers on my eyelid. I already primed my eyes with my Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C1. Then I put on some regular tape just to get a crisp line here. And now I'm just going to go in with a blending brush like this and I'm just going to put the brown shade all over my crease. So I just finished the crease with the dark brown shade. The reason why I wanted to use that in the crease is just because this is a relatively neutral toned brown, so it's going to blend quite well with both the dark uh, teal shade as well as the warmer toned orange here. So hopefully we won't have much muddiness uh, in the crease when we use the transition shades. So now I'm just going to blend them in quite uh, carefully in my crease as a transition and we'll just see how it goes.
Okay, so I just finished up my one eye because my camera battery died but I'm back now and I will just finish up my crease on this side and do my eyeliner and then I will be back to show you my finished look. So I just finished off my look using the shade Wired and Voltaic on my lower lash line as well as uh, some white waterproof liner on my lower lash line here. And I finished it off with mascara, I did my lipstick, I used the shade What's the Stitch by Colourpop. Just together with the lip liner that I've used in my previous videos called Spice by LA Girl. Then I used the highlighter from Luxie Beauty called Halo, which is almost like a peachy to icy blue duochrome. I really think it goes well with this look because it's a little bit like a glittery mess and I feel like this is just a little bit different as well. Uh, I did end up dragging the glitter quite high up just to make sure that we don't have any patchiness between the blue and the orange. and. I sort of like how it turned out because it sort of fits the name of the palette. It's the future Futurism palette. And this look is a little bit futuristic. So what did you think about this look? Did you like it? And now we'll just go on to the next look. I am back for my second look and today I have been thinking and since I did uh, both the blue and the orange and basically all the shades last time. I'm going to focus on doing a warmer look using the shade Wired and the orange shade called Voltaic and Force Field. I think those will be the only shades that I'm going to use. Uh, and I'm just going to start with the shade Wired and pack it all over my lid. Then I'm going to blend it out with Voltaic and then I'm going to use the shade uh, Shockwave for my inner corner and a little bit on the lower lash line.
I just went in and blended the dark shadow into the orange shadow a bit just because I wasn't happy with the blending. Uh, I didn't blend that much earlier just because I tried to do the same look yesterday and it just ended up being super patchy because I went in with too much powder and then it just started lifting off my skin and just disappearing. But honestly, today I think that it went well because I didn't go in with any extra powder. I just blended and blended and blended. And I'm actually really happy with how it's looking right now. Uh, so that just proves that yesterday it was my fault because I just put in too much powder. But if you just blend without adding more powder, then you do end up with a nice blend. So that's really important for me. Um, yeah, so I will just zoom you in so you can see the finished look. you've seen the second look I will just uh, yeah move on to the last look in this three looks uh, one palette video I'm about to film my last look right now and for this look I really want to focus on the blue shades uh, and then I might be adding some of the orange and the shade shockwave we will just see and I will of course show you what brushes I use and which shades I actually go for yeah, so let's just move on to the last look.
So that's how my last look with the Electro Turquoise palette turned out. I really like it. It's blue, it's sparkly, colorful, I love it. Uh, which of the looks are your favorite? I think the first one is mine, even though, though I really also liked the second one because it was, it just gave me such follow vibes and yeah, I really like it. Uh, in general, I really like this palette. It has a lot of nice shades. It's a very unique color story that I haven't seen anywhere else. And I really love the combination of blue and orange together. And the shimmers are just so insane. I think it's one of my favorite shimmer formulas of all time. It's so beautiful. If you liked this video and if you liked my looks, please subscribe and comment down below. And I guess I'll see you in another video. Bye!